one thing that you need to understand um, when using the Smith chart is when you make rotations around the Smith chart, um, rotating up upwards corresponds to uh, an increasing inductance, and then rotating downward corresponds to an increase or a, a decrease in the uh, series capacitance. Okay, so what do I mean by that? Um, so if you have a load and then you have a inductor in series with the load and you were to measure the uh, impedance seen looking in at point A and point B before and after the inductor. So here on this chart, point A corresponds to um, to this point here on the, on the Smith chart. Well, if you were to increase the value of that inductor, that would cause your position on the Smith chart to rotate along the point of, uh, of constant resistance um, in the upward uh, direction. Uh, again, if you replace the inductor with a capacitor and you were to measure at points A and B and the capacitor had a capacitance of C, your position on the Smith chart would rotate downward as you decrease the value of that capacitance. Okay, so your uh, impedance falls off with like 1 over C here and uh, increases with L up in for the case of the inductor. The two, these two um, explanations on the bottom here uh, are referring to the cases where you have a load and then you have a shunt inductor or a parallel inductor. This time you rotate on curves of uh, constant conductance um, and it's the opposite, so as the value of your inductor decreases, you rotate uh, counterclockwise on one of the circles of constant conductance. And then for the capacitor, it's uh, kind of the same thing, where as your value of the capacitance uh, uh, increases, then your position on the Smith chart rotates uh, downward like this. So so when you're thinking about Smith charts, it's it's here's my Smith chart. It's kind of split up into two planes. The top half of the plane is inductant, inductive, and the bottom half of the plane is uh, capacitive.